Hey everyone, let's not beat around the bush here. All vending machine business success is 100% hinged on the quality of vending machine locations. Can we all agree on that? Good. The most difficult hurdle to overcome in the vending machine business or healthy vending machine business is getting into high traffic vending machine locations. If you have attempted to get into high traffic vending machine locations, meaning 300 or more daily consumers, then you have experienced these difficulties and more than likely would say one of two things. All the high traffic vending machine locations are already taken or the high traffic vending machine location decision makers never call me back. Either of those sound familiar? I'm sure one of them does. Well, be thankful that you came across this video. Today I'm going to share with you an extremely simple and effective way to get high traffic vending machine locations to call you. And believe me, you're going to want to watch until the end and you'll say to yourself, wow, this is so simple and easy and makes all the sense in the world. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, but first, please do me a massive but simple favor. Please hit that like button, give me a follow, leave me a comment. Doing so allows people just like you to find me, my channel, my videos. This is how YouTube works best. The more engagement that this video receives from folks like you, then the more people like you I get to help. I sincerely appreciate your engagement, honestly. Okay, let me show you how to get vending machine locations to call you, specifically how to get high traffic vending machine locations to call you. There are two specific reasons that you are not securing high traffic vending machine locations for your vending machine business or healthy vending machine business. One, you don't know what to say to convince the location to consider your vending machines, which leads to not making phone calls or fear of getting rejected by the vending machine location decision maker right away. Or two, you can't get a hold of a decision maker and you're leaving a message with the front desk, the receptionist, or leaving a voicemail and you're getting no return phone calls. Do either of these scenarios sound familiar? Folks, please allow me to be clear. I have watched all of the top vending machine location videos and again, they all say the same exact thing. Place your machines at what's available, the low hanging fruit, auto body or auto repair shops, apartment complexes, small businesses, small gyms, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Have you ever stopped to think why these vending machine locations are even available a lot of the time? That they're even considering your vending machine, that they're open to it. It's because other vending machine owners have previously removed their vending machines from the location because they just don't simply make enough money. So where does this leave you and your vending machine business? I know what many of you are thinking. The vending industry is saturated and all the best vending machine locations are already taken, right? Well, I disagree. Because while there may be vending machines at these high foot traffic vending machine locations, there's always room for better or the best, and that's what you can do. Offer a location, a better hamster wheel, as Mr. Wonderful says on Shark Tank, and I know just the perfect and better hamster wheel for any, almost any high traffic vending machine location. I'll get to that at the end of the video. Now, I've seen all the popular vending machine location videos right here on YouTube that they encourage you to simply walk into vending machine locations, ask for a face-to-face -face with the decision maker or set up a meeting with the business owner or a manager, right? While this may work at low traffic locations, maybe laundromats, auto repair facilities, a gym, small gym, small businesses, but when it comes to high traffic vending machine locations, again, 300 or more daily consumers this just isn't a reality most of the time because these decision makers aren't going to meet you. They're running organizations. So trust me, don't try that approach. You'll be wasting your time. One of the most effective approaches to target high traffic vending machine locations is 
to simply pick up the phone and speak with the decision maker. If you're curious as to an approach and the conversation you'd have with the decision maker, watch this video, which identifies strategies, which will identify opportunities and allows you to create a warm conversation with almost any high traffic vending machine location decision maker. Today I'm going to teach you the best tactic to get high traffic vending machine location decision makers to call you. Before I do so, let me tell you the best and fastest way to ensure high traffic vending machine location decision makers will almost never call you back. This is you calling the location. Ring, ring. Hi there. Can you point me to the right direction? To the person who makes the vending machine decisions? Hey there, I sure can. That's Bob in facilities. I'll transfer you right away. Fantastic, thank you. Exciting, right? You then get Bob's voicemail, very common, and you say something like this. Hey Bob, this is Ryan, ABC Vending. Wanted to talk to you about my vending machine program. See if we could possibly replace your vending program with ours. I'd love to connect with you, Bob. My phone number is 555-1212. Give me a call when you can, Bob. Thanks. After doing this, let's say five times a day, five messages, 22 working days in the month, 110 voicemails in a month. Congratulations. That's massive work. And then what happens? Crickets. Almost no one ever calls you back. Have you had this problem? Folks, the moment Bob heard vending machine on his voicemail, I can promise you, he became very uninterested. In Bob's mind, there's nothing new or exciting in the vending machine industry that he'd be interested in. So why would he call you back? He's already got vending machines there. You haven't given him anything to think about. Here's the key. You've got to create question in Bob's mind with your message. Curiosity. So let's try this again, but with a very different approach. Let's give them a call again. Ring, ring, ring. Hi there. Can you point me in the direction of the person that makes the vending machine decisions at your facility? I sure can. That's Bob and Facilities. I'll transfer you right away. So again, you get Bob's voicemail, but this time you simply say, and with confidence, Bob Ryan O'Keefe here. I was pointed in your direction by the facility, so if you could just give me a call back. I can quickly be reached at 555-1212. Thanks, Bob. Yep, that's it. Less is more, people. Now, what has this done for you? Simply put, you've now planted curiosity and a bit of unknown in the mind of Bob. And did more cases than that message before? Who's likely to call you back? Bob is. Will Bob call you back every single time? No. But a significantly higher percentage of decision makers at high traffic vending machine locations will call you back when you leave a message like that with that approach. I promise you, try it. And try it often. And watch what happens. If you're not hearing this or believe it, literally you have to try it for yourself. You can't think your way to a result. You've got to go out there and try it. Trial and error is everything. And this works. I've done it time and time again. Give me your thoughts. What do you think on this? Drop me some comments, any questions. I truly would love to hear your feedback below and I'm happy to answer your questions. So the natural next question is, okay, Bob and other decision makers are calling me back. Now what? It's simple, but allow me to be clear. You are, in most cases, not going to be able to pitch a location, a high traffic vending machine location, to replace their current junk food vending machine with another junk food vending machine program. Why would they when it's the same exact thing? I have the simple solution, the better hamster wheel, as Mr. Wonderful puts it, and I package it as an irresistible offer in the form of a healthy vending machine program for almost any high traffic vending machine location in the United States. A higher quality machine with state-of-the-art technology, attention-getting graphics, healthy alternatives, affordable healthy alternatives, attracting all consumers and not just junk food eaters and unparalleled servicing from you. And that, folks, done well, can be an irresistible offer to any location to upgrade their current vending and replace it. Want to learn more about what I'm talking about? Perhaps find out if Vending Accelerator is right for you? 
Check out this video right here and feel free to set up an appointment to get on the phone personally with me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and it's opened your eyes to being able to get decision makers at high traffic vending machine locations to call you back and I would love your feedback. Even more so, I would love for you to try this approach out in your area and share with me how it goes for you. Please drop your comments. Please give this video a like, a subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell notification so you get notified every single time I drop new content. My name is Ryan O'Keefe of Vending Accelerator. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you next time.